I have a special announcement. I'm going to get right to the point. I'm going to run for Lieutenant Governor of the state of Idaho. <laughs> The reason I'm running is to protect and defend Idaho's future and to give back to the state that has given so much to me and to my family. Sarah and I have been married for 41 years and we represent the fourth generation on the family cattle ranch that was started by my grandfather in the 1870s, my great-grandfather in the 1870s. Our four children, their 14 kids, our grandkids, some of who are here today, represent the fifth and sixth generation of bed keys in Idaho. We're proud of our family, we're proud of our faith, and we're proud to be Idahoans. I'm pro-life, pro-gun, and a limited government constitutional conservative. As Lieutenant Governor, I'll bring all of the things that I've learned serving in the People's House to the executive branch of the state of Idaho. I'm the only candidate in the race who has tested and trusted experience in getting things done for Idaho. I come from a legacy of hard work, of never quitting until the job was done, where the phrase was often used, bring a lunch and a flashlight because we're going to be out until we're finished. That was a phrase that was commonly used and is, still is in, in our household. This is a legacy of hard work that I will bring to the office of the Lieutenant Governor. In fact, it's because of this tradition of hard work and determination to finish every job that I start that I intend to stay fully committed and engaged to the end of my term as Speaker. As Speaker, I've been directly involved in getting and setting the policies that make Idaho the great state that it is today. I've worked with multiple governors, four to be, in, four to be accurate, to cut taxes, to eliminate red tape, to invest in our roads and bridges, and to improve education. And I fought against the federal government interference and protected Idaho's conservative values every step of the way. This is why Idaho is consistently ranked number one as the best place to live, the best place to work, and the best place to raise a family. I've also been directly involved in setting economic policies here for the state of Idaho. Now there's a lot of detail in those policies, but they can be summed up in two statements. First, year in and year out, we live within the people's means. We never commit or spend money that we do not have. And second, we've created the least regulated state in the nation and created a climate where businesses, small and large, can prosper and where Idaho families can thrive. But you know, there's an old saying that says, success is never final. And that means we still have a lot of work to do. Education has always been very important to the Bedke family. And during my time as Speaker, Idaho has consistently increased its investment year over year into our K through 12 school system. I have a vested interest in making sure that our children leave Idaho schools well prepared for life. During my tenure as Speaker, we made unprecedented investments in our state's road system. I was a key leader in every major transportation package that, is, that uh, we've had and successfully carried transportation budgets across the House floor. Our long-term success as a state will largely be defined by our investments that we make not only in the education system but in the transportation systems. Many of you know that I can't stand in front of a microphone for very long without talking about Idaho's water. As Speaker, I've, neg I've successfully negotiated and settled long-standing water disputes and conflicts that have plagued our state for decades. As a tested, trusted, and experienced leader on water issues, I will request that Governor Little assign me a prominent role in arguably the most important issue facing our state. That is our water. As your Lieutenant Governor, I'll protect Idaho's water in the future, not just for us, but for all the generations that come. You're going to get from Scott Bedke exactly what you've always got, a fierce, hardworking, savvy defender of Idaho's conservative values, despite any and all obstacles that might come our way. I'll do everything in my power to defend Idaho's future. In closing, I want the Office of Lieutenant Governor to be recognized for its advocacy, for its action, its accomplishments, and for its decency. That's what the people of Idaho deserve, and that's what I will deliver.